Season four, if you had to boil it down to one word, how would you describe the season? Messy. <laughs> Karen is so phony. You're always running this mouth. Same Ashley Newley. You are broken. What is going to be the big drama this year that we're going to be talking about week after week after week? Uh, butts. Yeah. Big, bu <laughs> big butts, men butts, women butts, you know, all of the above. Uh, Literally, the butts. Bu Michael likes big butts. I cannot lie. Her life is a mess. He was actually charged. Yes. With felonies. Yes! Oh. Are you okay with what Michael did? We're breaking the fourth wall a little bit because your real life and the camera life kind of intertwined. Mm. Well, not yours. Yeah. The Darbys. Oh, okay. With some allegations that he has denied. The charges have been dropped. Right. How did that affect the group, having all that play out? I think it affected us realistically. I always said I needed Michael to be, to be totally vindicated. So I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, it was kind of difficult because when you're looking at the cameras and the people who are in your home, and then it kind of lets you realize that, wow, I really don't know the people that are in my home who I'm working with. And then when you see, and you see in the news, like actual charges being brought up and it was very surreal. I'm really interested in seeing how this unfolds for myself because I mean, being in the midst of it all, it was like a reality check within the reality show. Right, <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. It's not a position I envy that they're in, but I'm sure the Darby's will be fine. I've been in a position before where people are trying to judge or, or pass judgment. We've all been there. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's like everybody gets a turn. <laughs> and karma is a bitch. Interesting you say karma is a bitch, because that is Ashley's tagline this year. Karma is a bitch, but luckily I'm on her good side. Ooh. Ashley's walking in her truth, and I have to say, even though Ashley and I have not always seen eye to eye, she's trying to walk in her truth and understands that, you know, some of the things that she did in the past is unacceptable, and she's making or attempting to make amends for that. We done, baby. You, you may be like Your old book I saw yesterday. Like, bye. you know, a broke version bye, of bye, Tina bye, Knowles. Bye, bye. Oh, jeez. For three seasons, Ashley has been vindictive, malicious, and a liar. And the growth I see in her even caused me to pause before I become judgmental with her. Um, and that just, you know, lifts me as a human being because I have every reason to lynch her and could do it well. But I pause. <laughs> I pause because I see a genuine effort in that direction to change what is wrong about her. And she's making that conscious decision to change that. Clank de clank. The bar so. You might want to help your husband. I actually am looking forward to it. All of the lies, all of the lies come out. Okay. Yeah. And they're revealed. And I'm like, yes, vindication. Hello. <laughs> it's refreshing to just know that the truth is finally going to get out there. And I think the viewers are going to be really happy with how they see things unfold. So maybe what we saw play out in the press while you guys were filming is not what we're going to see as the reality. I didn't say that. You're gonna see a lot of ups and downs, back and forth, mixed emotions. It's kind of like a roller coaster. It's a lot all of forgiveness. Over the place. Yeah, a lot of forgiveness. Yeah. You're going. You're gonna see us like while it's actually happening. Mm -hmm. You're gonna literally see how we process the information we were receiving. And Got I think it. the audience will find that relatable because it shows personal growth in all of us. Right. Except for Giselle. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay. Uh, There's a tea.